Welcome back to Rise and Shine. Now, if you want to be where the hills are alive or feel the impact of marching in Selma, it's pretty easy to do, believe it or not. Now, travel squire Jeff Greif is here to show us how to travel to some of the most famous movie locations around the world. Welcome, Jeff. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having We're me so back. We're so excited. And this is one of the few years that I've actually seen a lot of the nominated films, so I'm even more excited. Yeah. So let's talk about the best film nominees in the cities and countries that the films are actually based in. Um, first, we have best film nominees Birdman and Whiplash. Birdman is about a washed-up actor who played a superhero <laughs> in the movies, and now he's trying to stage his big comeback. Um, and Whiplash is about a young jazz drummer trying to gain the respect of his music school professor. So tell us a little bit about those two. Well, both of these movies, as you know, take place in New York. So um, New York is, is a hub. And to keep in line with what you've been doing this morning, I'm going to have some trivia questions oh for you. <laughs> so um, New York being the, the iconic city that it is, it has an iconic building, the Empire State Building. Yeah. So my first question for you is, how many movies has the Empire oh State Building been in? Oh my gosh, oh, wow. that's a really difficult question. It has to be a Wait, lot, right? I read this somewhere, but I don't know if I can remember really, it now. Sean? Um, I'll give you a hint. Is it more than 100 or I'm, less than 100? I'm going to say more than 100. Uh, I'm going to say less. It's more than 100. Oh, <laughs> clearly, I didn't read properly. <laughs> <laughs> so so um, Birdman is about the theater. And as you know, the, New York has the largest concentration of theaters in all the world. Oh, wow. Um, you can see virtually see a show a week if you wanted to yeah. in New York. And, um, and um, Whiplash is about a drummer. Mm -hmm. So I want to say that jazz is alive and well in New York. Um, it, you know, we think of the Greenwich Village in the 50s and right. the jazz clubs. But, you know, a club like the Village Vanguard has been open for 78 years. And, you know, people like Miles Davis played there. And it's still... Uh, historic place, and you can still see great jazz there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, the next uh, best film nominee is Boyhood, and that's a film about the ups and downs of an American boy's life, and it's based in Houston, Texas. It is. So um, Houston is definitely on the map now. Uh, it's got a lot of culture and music. It actually is the second city in the United States with a concentration of theaters. And, oh, wow. yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. and it's got great uh, barbecue there, and it's got great farm-to-table restaurants. It's on great art. There's the Demental Collection there, which is which has some great modern art. But uh, here's my trivia question for you, Oh, gosh, another <laughs> okay. one. Which... I'm very competitive, so as long as I beat Shahan, Look, I'm fine. I'm, I'm not, so <laughs> you go ahead. You go ahead. Okay, which of the following three movies wasn't made in Houston? Okay. Transformers 3. Okay. Apollo 13 or Whiplash? Well, uh, Whiplash, didn't you just tell us yeah. it was made in New York? I'm, I'm trying to make it a little easier for oh. you guys. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> we're being literally quizzed to see if we're listening to you properly. I like that. See, he's making you're yeah, a teacher. Yeah, yeah. You should be a teacher as your second um, profession. So wait, is it Whiplash? What's it isn't Whiplash. What? <laughs> it so is Whiplash. Of, oh, Whiplash yeah. wasn't yeah. made in, in exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It was made in exactly. Yeah. So actually, Houston is. But I was is, still quicker sh than Sean. You were. You were. <laughs> right? So you got that. Yeah. But um, Houston as a city is actually um, a great backdrop for all of these sci-fi yeah, movies. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Who would have known? Right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It seems very random. And so we have two more best film nominees: The Theory of Everything and The Imitation Game, and they were both based in the UK. The Theory of Everything is about the love story between physicist Stephen Hawking and his first wife, Jane, as they deal with his diagnosis of motor neuron disease, while The Imitation Game is a historical thriller about a group of mathematicians who cracked the Enigma code used by the Nazis during World War II. Yes, okay, so both of these are actually day trips from London. Um, Bletchley Park is, uh, is just short, it's, it's very close to London, so you can do it as a day trip. And actually they're showing pictures of, of Cambridge here, so, I'll, um, <laughs> uh, so Cambridge is also a day trip, 50 miles north right. of um, London, and it's a beautiful university. It was built in 1209. Uh, it's very dynamic because you have a lot of students there, so there's a lot of festivals during the year. It's a place to go all year long. It's really, right. uh, beautiful, lots of gardens, there's beer festivals, there's a Shakespeare festival. Yeah. Um, Cambridge is a great place to go. 
Bletchley Park um, was just, they just cre recreated um, the room where the code was cracked for the imitation game. Oh, cool. So, so they actually took the bar that, that was in the movie and they made a museum of it. Yeah. And then you can take a walking tour with an iPad and really sort of see how the code was cracked and, yeah. and it's really interactive. You can crack codes really? yourself. Okay, that's cool. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip the trivia question because I'm doing so badly. At the <laughs> <laughs> Let's just move on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> the next movie are two of the nominees for Best Foreign uh, Language Film and and there's one called Timbuktu, which is obviously based in Timbuktu. Right. Well, as you know, there's a lot of conflict, and uh, this is on the uh, the uh, United States Department's advisory list of to be careful to go there and mm -hmm. to check. Um, uh, but it was a fairy tale kind of a, a village before the conflicts happened. Um, this the film just swept the Cesars. It is it's, the turmoil is is over now, but just over. But it, it's really a special place um, in 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 that it's like at the the, right. at the sub-Sahara desert, and it's also got a lot of this Islamic culture. Yeah. yeah, I'm totally interested in seeing that as well. And there's another nominee in this category. It's a film called Wild Tales. Right. It's a black comedy uh, drama about violence and vengeance. Tell us about that. Yes, so Wild Tales takes place with the backdrop of uh, Buenos Aires. And who could forget, um, what was the other famous film? I'm going to cheat and, and ask you right away. <laughs> what was the other? Are you, she got it before you. Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't even fin finish the question. Look, Priya sits at home I and watches movies <laughs> oh, all the time. We have to get so. you on Wheel of Fortune or something, Priya. <laughs> yes. So, but um, uh, Buenos Aires is fantastic. There's lots of great neighborhoods to go to. There's lots of great shopping. Holly um, Palermo, Hollywood is a new area. It's, it's lofts. The fashion crowd is there. And obviously, it's the home of tango. Yeah. yeah. Also, so sure. the last uh, category we're going to look at is the best documentary feature. Ooh, my and favorite. it's called Virunga, which is about the fight to conserve the last mountain gorillas in the region of Congo against poachers. That's quite interesting. Yeah. It is. It is. The, the, this is a very interesting film. I watched it last night, actually. And it, it takes place in this national park um, in the Congo, uh, where there's a lot of turbulence that has just finished, but it's, it's ever, it's continuing. You can go visit there. Again, it's on the State Department's list. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of accommodations. In the height, 6,500 uh, 6, people People visited there in the in the in the 70s, yeah. and they're they're protecting these gorillas. It's really a special place. There's a volcano there. Right. Endangered species are there. And I have one my last trivia question for you oh, guys. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's all about protecting the gorillas. So how many gorillas of these gorillas do you think are left in the world? They're mountain gorillas. Oh, um, boy. It, uh, is it 400, 600, 800? 800. 600. 800. Oh, oh, my gosh. And a quarter of them are okay, in the Do I get a prize for this? You I'm so yeah, awesome. Yeah, you're going to get a pat on the back. Well done. Well done. <laughs> well, that's the amazing thing about movies. They can transport you to a different location. They can teach you new things about the world. It's it's a great experience. And thanks so much for talking to us, Thanks Jeff. for making me look bad. <laughs> <laughs> and to find out more about great travel destinations near and far, go to TravelSquire.com. And up next, the Oscar red carpet brings out the best in fashion and perfectly coiffed hair completes the look hair product pioneer Jane Carter will discuss the best of them don't go away you're watching arise and shine